don't forget to subscribe. Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, the Race Disparity Unit says we shouldn't read too much into stop and search information covering the whole of England and Wales. It says because the tactic isn't used evenly from force to force mm -hmm. and a high number of stops in one place involving specific ethnic groups can skew the overall stats. I, I mean, we've got to look at this, as you say, context is everything, isn't it? And, and mm -hmm. that is crucial here, Ken. Um, and the body cam footage will uh, exonerate entirely the officers concerned. You're, you're, you're convinced of that? Well, you know, I've been a massive fan of it. I push for all officers to have it. And, and the thought, again, the idea that an officer steps out to work knowing he or she are filming themselves to do something incorrectly is just, is just nonsense. It's created professionalism on both sides. You know, if I say to you that complaints have gone down against police by about 36% because of body-worn cameras, that tells you an awful lot. It certainly so does. let's share it. Ken, thank you very much indeed for your time You're tonight. Welcome. Nice to talk to you. Ken Marsh there from the Met Police Federation. You're reaction welcome 0800 731 2000 6 30 now on drive time with your headlines here's will schindler is under investigation by the police watchdog after appearing to kneel on a man's neck during an arrest in Islington. The Independent Office for Police Conduct is looking into the manner of the arrest of 48-year-old